the hell? Really? Really? This is what we're doing? It's an important topic we're talking about and your phone should be on silent. Thank you. back to our channel yeah, 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 yeah. what's up what are we, we what are we calling ourselves on this are we still blue or of course what do you mean we're blue <laughs> <laughs> it's ebony and ivory blue ivy um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry we have been MIA. We gave you guys a video and then disappeared from the face of the earth. We've been gone. Yeah. And it's because Mother Nature had a different plan for us Ooh. and that plan was to kill us with pollen. Yes. She's still kind of going through it. I am a little bit drugged up, so it's helping me out a little bit, but Whatever you took, you needed to get out to me. I That's told you what I took. I took NyQuil last night. It helped me go to sleep. That's and I guess it's still up. in my system. Because it's helping me not to like sneeze. And I'm not stuff. sneezing, but basically I'm cold now. So, But we're here. We're live. Thank we're you for checking on us. Those of you who care if we're alive or not. In this video, we'll be talking about like a tuppy, a touchy subject, but like I told Fee, is one that we have to talk about because I mean, this is what people go through, yeah. you know. And in the title, you see it's surviving death. Now, this could be like somebody who committed suicide, somebody closest to you who died, somebody who tried to kill themselves. If you tried to kill yourself, whatever that means. Like just basically like how you felt like how did you push through because a lot of kids nowadays like a lot of these younger rappers are like you'll see somebody who overdosed mm -hmm. on something and they're dead or like a lot of people go through things and they want to kill themselves and you're confused as to like why they even felt that way because you probably spoke to them every single day and you're just like I never even knew mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so as far as i go i remember one person i was close to who passed away that was my, like my uncle i was like 12 years old mm. but i didn't it didn't click i didn't really understand what was going on even though i was 12 like i knew he passed but i didn't understand like the depth of it uh i remember thinking like so he's passed on right they talk about heaven and hell all the time and people always complain about like how he treated folks so does that mean he's going to hell so i remember thinking like for like a year like yo fam did my uncle go to hell so is he like burning in some flames right now because a lot of people complained about his actions while he was here so i remember for a long time i like i didn't want to go to church i didn't want to pray i didn't want to do nothing so, because i just didn't understand like if there's somebody like the man upstairs like people talk about right mm -hmm. if there's somebody out there who protects us why when you pass on he'll send you to hell like i didn't get it right it, di it just didn't make no sense to me so i remember for a long time like i didn't understand death like i didn't understand like what happens when you pass on i mean i never really me honestly i don't believe in like the heaven or hell really really this is what we're doing it's an important topic we're talking about and your phone should be on silent thank you okay but <laughs> but i don't believe in that like heaven or hell like i feel like once you pass your spirit just transcends into like another dimension or something you just live another life in another form like i don't really believe that i feel like honestly where we are right now is hell especially with trump being president i feel like we're already in hell but i feel like when you pass your soul or your spirit just transcends into another dimension and you just live another life 
in another form, whether it be another person, animal, whatever, that's what I believe happens. Like, so was your experience, like your emotional experience with death? Okay, so I have a friend. Uh, we've been friends for about six years, almost six years. And I mean, it was a situation where I seen the signs, but I never thought that it was going to get to the point where he would try to commit suicide. Yeah. Um, he was a, a music artist and was mm. going through depression, anxiety, uh, cutting himself off from being social, staying in his room all the time, smoking weed all the time. Not saying anything's wrong with that, but... Um, just not being his normal cheery self and we had a lot of conversations where he felt like he was pretending to be this person to make everybody else mm -hmm. happy mm -hmm. but not really focusing on his own his happiness self. yeah and like there were times where he just broke down crying about it but you know you see people going through this stuff but you never really think that they would take it that far where they just don't want to live anymore so over time he just fell deeper and deeper into this depression, um, closing himself off, basically not even putting his energy into his music anymore because it wasn't going where he wanted to go as fast as he wanted it to go. So that was also adding on to him being down, doubting himself. He had self-esteem issues. And like months down the line, you know, he had a mental breakdown. I don't, I don't want to say out of nowhere, but it seemed like it was out of nowhere, but... But it was festering. Yeah. Um, and how it happened was, I was actually at his house. We got in an argument. Don't remember what the argument was about. I left the house to get some air. His mom calls me, talking about come back to the house. He's trying to slit his wrist. By the time I get his back mom. to... mom. Yeah, like, I couldn't even imagine like what she was how she was even processing what was happening by the time i actually got back to the house she was literally pulling him out of his room window because he tried to jump out of his window and this is somebody that's scared of heights and i'm like what the hell's going on like she's literally grabbing him pulling him out the window when i'm walking in because i hear shuffling like somebody fighting yeah i'm like what the hell's going on and i'm walking in his room and she's like pulling him out the freaking window we had to call an ambulance and everything like 50 cops get there before the freaking ambulance actually get there and you know they're ready to do whatever they do and it was a he was sitting at the table there's a pair of scissors on the table i'm like i gotta move the scissors because he keep looking at it yeah. like he it was just crazy and it was like I seen it coming but I didn't see it coming to that extent like I seen the signs and like and you never thought that would happen yeah anymore. like I kind of look back and I'm like I wish I could have did more like of course I was being supportive trying to amp him up trying to motivate him make him feel better but sometimes you could do everything and anything you can for that person but they're just not hearing or seeing anything that you're trying to do or say for them, say to them. And they just get lost in that darkness. And there's, sometimes people don't even come back from that. My thing with that whole situation with, like, um, suicide. Because on my end, there's been several occasions where I thought about, like, ending my life. Mm -hmm. But never actually committed the act. I feel like a lot of people have those thoughts, but they don't follow through with it because they're probably like going through something and they feel like the easiest way is to just end it all and right. they don't have to. But then what clicked me out of it is like, yo, how is this going to affect my mom? Mm -hmm. I can't leave my grandmother like that. Mm -hmm. That's effed up. And that's why uh, a lot of times like somebody close to you passes away. I think in that moment too, like when I was 12, once like a year later, I got, I was pissed because I was like, yo, why would you leave me? Yeah, like yeah. me and my uncle were close. Like, why would you leave me? One, like I expected you to be here yeah, too. Yeah. And like, what am I supposed to do now mm -hmm. that you're not here? Like, how am I supposed to explain this? It's selfish, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's, that's a natural feel. reaction. Like that's how you feel when people you love 
are no longer here or people you love are here but they're hurting themselves mm -hmm. you're like i get that you're going through stuff but then a selfish thing inside of you kicks in like fam why would you do that like there's a bunch of people here that love you yeah yeah a perfect example i don't know if you ever saw this but there's a show called 13 reasons why on netflix i heard of it but i never seen it you should watch it jesus christ <sighs> that show it shows basically a synopsis is a girl she's in high school and she kills herself because mm. she was bullied and raped and lied about in high school so she she made like thir i think she made like 13 tapes for 13 different people who affected her throughout the whole time mm. and she sent it to them and they listened to it to figure like to see why she killed herself mm -hmm. so she basically in a sense like blamed them yeah and then it comes up that at the end he brought like a gun to school and was about to shoot up everybody but one of the people he was cool with like stopped him and this is like it gets you in that mindset too of like these kids who sometimes come to school and shoot up mm -hmm. the school it's like what were they going through mm -hmm. what like they showed you stuff and you were like almost like ignoring them yeah so surviving death could be on that end too like mm -hmm. you go into like the school shootings that keep happening like i don't i'm not making excuses for any one of those shooters because it's crazy that you would ever do any type of shit like that mm -hmm. that's wrong on all accounts but we need to like take a step further like try to understand like where that came from yes the guns is a problem but we also need to think the psychology of mm -hmm. it all as well like what were they going through what you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i don't think somebody just wakes up and was like oh i'm about to shoot up a school oh, or shoot up not. a church well some people do because some people are racist Crazy. and whatever but majority of the time is like something is wrong something mentally. is like mentally like somebody is messing with them mm -hmm. and they feel like that's their only option so like yeah if you guys haven't seen that show you should watch 13 watch Reasons it. Why on Netflix. Watch the first season first so you could get like an idea. Mm -hmm. Don't God, care. Like that's just like it's I don't a lot. care what anyone does to you. Like to they go deserve, that far to yeah. hurt somebody. That's just beyond like reasonable. Like nobody should ever be like come on. What did the guy do that was that bad and he had to do all of that stuff? And then when they end up in court going to jail, that's when they want to cry and write a letter saying they're sorry. Yeah. It's like, you ain't sorry because you don't have any remorse when you were doing it. It's just like, come on. Like, that's crazy. I can't. And to put that in a show, like, usually stuff you see on TV is stuff that actually, actually probably has happened. happened. Yeah. Um, this was a heavy video. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, in the comment box below, talk to us about like your ways of surviving death, coping with death, coping with um, pe your loved ones who have died or committed suicide or if you yourself um, ever thought about something like that. Um, Definitely. Let us know your thoughts. If you need people to speak to, I mean, you can always reach out to us Definitely. because we never want you to ever have to take that step and actually follow through with it or even get to that step to even think that way we never want that to happen you are loved just know that whatever it is like we are all human beings and we all going through it and we all have those thoughts like not even gonna lie sometimes things just get out of hand and out of your control so much so that you don't even know what else to do and you can break down to that point so you know talk to people you can talk to us talk to your friends talk to your loved ones if you feel like you don't have nobody seek professional help like the main thing is to talk about it stop suppressing what you're feeling your emotions your thoughts you have to find an outlet to release that a lot of the issues that we do suffer is because we choose to suppress our emotions and thoughts and feelings and stuff sometimes we have friends that are going through hell and we don't even know it because they walk through life like everything is okay and they go home and they sit in the dark and they cry and they could be cutting themselves up and we don't even know it like a mental health is a major 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 issue 
in our world in our culture in our community like we suffer a lot from mental health issues be it stemming from your family things that have happened to you with your friends whatever it is we all are going through mental health issues whether we want to admit it or not so if you are someone out there that is watching this yes we are here for you we are here if you need to talk if you need some guidance whatever it is don't be afraid to open up and talk about what's going on There's anyways guys we will see you next i can't even give you a date because i don't even know just subscribe and, and turn on that notifications because obviously we be MIA listen man we got this season just got us all messed up all so discombobulated forgive us <laughs> for the delay but we gonna bounce back like nothing happened don't worry uh, we will see you guys next time mm -hmm. don't forget to like comment and subscribe or Make sure you follow us on Instagram, embrace underscore blue without the E, B-L-U. And you can check out our podcast as well, We Wonder. And just make sure you guys stay tuned. We got a whole lot of stuff we're working on for you. And just bear with us. Once we get past spring into summer, we're going to be good. This allergies is just because the season is crazy Ugh. right now. Trust. You don't, if you don't suffer from allergies... You are blessed and I wish by the <laughs> almighty I hate me to put his hand on me.